Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. Charges dropped against a man shot by police on Friday afternoon. It happened after a prolonged struggle with two officers on the Red Line Grand Avenue stop. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now from the newsroom with the latest. Mike? Jim, Ariel Roman had been facing drug and resisting arrest charges. Now he's hired a lawyer, and it's the officers that might end up getting charged. The Chicago police officer yells for Ariel Roman to stop resisting more than 10 times. Stop! Stop resisting! But Roman doesn't stop, and last Friday afternoon's struggle with the male officer and his female partner lasts for more than four minutes. No question it was resisting arrest. The law says you can't even resist an illegal arrest. But despite that opinion from the former head of felony review for the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, charges of resisting arrest were dropped today against Roman. It's totally up to the prosecutor's office to charge a case or dismiss a case, totally within their discretion. The move came at the behest of interim police superintendent Charlie Beck. He argued that it would be insensitive to move forward with charges in light of the significant level of concern surrounding the arrest and shooting. I suspect he is going to either suspend these officers or start termination proceedings or suspects that there's going to be criminal charges against these officers and didn't want these criminal charges there when that happened. Roman was shot by the female officer after he appeared to walk towards her while reaching for his face. He then runs up an escalator. That's when a second shot is heard but not seen. The Chicago Police Department called in the FBI to investigate. The arrest and the process must be justified by the actions and there wasn't a lot to justify what was taking place in this case. Roman was eventually wheeled from the Red Line subway on a stretcher. He's still recovering in the hospital from two bullet wounds and while he's not going to be charged, the FBI could recommend the opposite for the officers. They could easily say we believe these officers acted inappropriately, illegally and they should be charged criminally. Now, Roman is still recovering in the hospital. We just heard from his attorney. She says that he says he's pleased with the decision to drop the charges. He also says he remembers the entire incident. Now, we reached out to the police union and are still waiting to hear back. The officers are on desk duty pending the outcome of this investigation. In the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Jim. Thank you, Mike.